Hi everybody, it's officially butt in the morning and I'm driving to LA in near pitch darkness. Um, and I was having a couple of thoughts about the, the future of work in the world, especially in what we would call first world countries or developed countries, in terms of what AI's impact is gonna have on it. And this in many, the, the way I think of it and the way I, I it's a sort of, I can't get out of my head, is that this is the forklift moment for mid-level jobs in the country. This is the moment where it used to take eight physically fit large dudes to lift some sort of giant pallet full of stuff and carry it from one place to another in a warehouse or whatever. And then somebody decided to put wheels on it, but it still took two guys to push it. And then somebody attached an engine to those wheels and to the lift itself. And now one guy can do it. And if you know, we're if you look at sort of some of some of the Amazon warehouse robots, there's a minor version of a human like a, a humanless uh, forklift that's now running. That that the the physical job of moving something heavy faded from taking six people to four people to two people to no people. And AI itself, there's this thought that somehow AI will lead to the automation of factories very quickly and that it will be blue collar workers and low collar workers and, and, and redneck and whatever collar, non collar, clip on tie workers, whatever you want to call them, that are, they're going to lose their job. They're gonna. This is. they They were gonna be the people affected the most by the, by the modern tech, computerized world that we live in, and it's, from an AI standpoint, that's not at all what's happening. From an AI standpoint, it's going to be, the managerial tasks, in between the big decision makers and the people that, work for the company carrying out the physical tasks of doing the job. Um, if you look at fast food, for example, you're in the people who actually pick up the food from the kitchen and and give it to someone um, for the time being are the safest job in the place because the cooks will be replaced faster than they will. The person that's gonna go from a fast food place is going to be the manager. If you want to talk to a manager at some point, it's gonna be a screen. It's gonna be somebody. It, if they're human at all, it might be just an AI recreation of a person that you can talk to if you have an issue that will make one of 19 judgments about your refund or lack thereof. And that person's job will go away. The person that smiles and says, uh, you know, would you like fries with that? That's a thing that most people aren't going to want to give up when they go eat someplace, especially if they're going inside and not pulling up to what is effectively a giant vending machine. So. When that happens, there are two things. One is the what is effectively quote unquote the lower class does way better because to make them keep doing what's relative a relatively menial job where they have to deal with the public is going to be more expensive because they're not going to want to talk to assholes like you and me um, for six dollars an hour. If they're going to have to deal with sort of the blowback of customers before you say talk to the screen they're gonna to wanna to be paid better. And so you're seeing an increase already in those frontline jobs and what they pay. The And then you'll see a lot of CEO and, and top level pay based on how investors do from how well the company's doing. You invest in you know, McDonald's Plus or whatever it'll be in the future and there'll be two sets of employees that you really think about, the people who make all the grand decisions about what kind of products they're going to put forward and you know the marketing ideas around that and then there's going to be the people who literally sling the stuff everybody in the middle is going to be the people who are going to be unnecessary first and if anybody's going to be replaced it's it's going to be the managerial the low level managerial class in in vocational spaces which does two things. One is it raises the pay of everybody on the low end and on the high end because you're not paying the middle level in this. It squeezes middle class jobs specifically around, you know, repetitive, what would be intellectually repetitive tasks. And as we become a, you know, a brain oriented culture, 
as opposed to a back-oriented culture, which is where all developed societies move from and to. Um, that group, this is this is that group's, you know, time to put up or shut up. They're going to have to be special to maintain that job, and that's very hard to do in repetitive managerial tasks. So the unintended consequence of that seems, and by the way, it seems very good. If you want to just get a little job where you're slinging hash and you're, th you know, you're working at a fast food or a clothing store or someplace where you interact with the public while you're putting yourself through school to get a, a giant brain job as opposed to a mid-level brain job, you can do that because you'll make more because it'll be harder to attract people and those will be the, you know, that'll be the interaction of life that everybody's looking for. The problem is it also takes out any of the rungs. Anybody who would work their way up, quote unquote, like through a company will effectively vanish. It's, it's taking, you know, six rungs out of the middle of the ladder eventually. As you turn these repetitive tasks into managerial things, whatever it is in the company that you're in, the mid-level stuff will be decided by some form of AI or, or you know, or, or programmed. Uh, it's, it's hard to even say whether it's, again, a person on a screen or an, uh, you know, an algorithmic solution that it tells you on a screen, but there's no middle of it there. And unless you want to sideline out and quote unquote, learn to code, which you won't need to do because most coding will be done by um, computers itself, especially at this level, um, you're just going to have to study, I guess, psychology, business management, and other stuff to just jump around to the top. There will, this idea that somehow we're going to move past higher education to where everybody learns everything on YouTube and starts their own business. Um, in the bigger industries is going to be increasingly harder to do because it's going to be, you know, not only the connection of it, but also the intellect and the, and the, the broad understanding of geopolitics and money and, and all that kind of stuff that comes with a bit of experience and a deeper education, a a, a looking at the parts you don't want to look at, which is what really education is about. Education is not about teaching you what you want to learn. Education is teaching you the stuff you want to learn alongside making you study the things you don't want to learn that have an impact on the stuff you want to learn. That's why the big schools, the great schools, are the great schools. So what you're going to have, you're going to see increasingly, is that that middle class managerial group being hit hard by just being replaced because they have they are currently in the jobs that are repetitive and require no originality whereas interacting with human beings and handing them a tray of food and smiling at them still requires an, an individualized original moment just like being on a on the you know board of trustees or a CEO or CFO of a company or the creator of a company requires constant individualized thought and you know right or wrong making human mistakes in it but being able to judge reality as it is not as it as you've been programmed to so this i would say this is the forklift moment for the middle class if anything the forklift is coming followed shortly by the driverless forklift and this goes for coders as well